So we know how to factorise and solve quadratics and how to use a quadratic formula. We can plot them onto a graph and sketch them with the x-axis and y-axis intercepts. So we're currently pretty good at quadratics, but to become the ultimate fountain of quadratic knowledge, we need to know how to complete the square. Being able to complete the square offers us two more great skills to add to our repertoire. It is another way of solving a quadratic. We can factorise, use a quadratic formula, or complete the square. But completing the square not only solves the quadratic, it also helps us to graph the quadratic more easily, which we'll investigate in part three. So in this video, we're going to look at how to complete the square. Let's have a look at an example. We take half of the x term and put it into our bracket with x. So half of six is three. Square the bracket, so x plus three squared. And because three squared is nine, we need to subtract nine. Then bring the five down from the question. So we get x plus three squared minus four. And we've completed the square. I'm going to get you to do a question first before I explain why we need to subtract that number. So subtract nine from the example before. Give this question a go yourself. Pause the video, work out the answer, and click play when you're ready. Did you get it right? X minus one squared plus five. So that is how we complete the square. But why do we subtract the square of the bracket number? Think of expanding brackets. So let's go back one step to this and expand the x plus three squared. We get x squared plus six x plus nine. We don't want the plus nine, we just want plus five. So to balance it out, we need to subtract nine, which is why we always subtract the square of the number in the bracket. So let's have a quick look at what happens when the coefficient of x squared isn't one. I'll get you started and then you can finish it off. So start by factoring three out of the three x squared and the negative 12 x to give us x squared on its own. Leave the two alone. Now you can complete the square. Pause the video, complete the square and click play when you're ready to check. Did you get it right? Three, x minus two squared minus 10. So there we have completing the square for any quadratic with or without an x squared coefficient of one. You just need to remember this process. So in part two, we're going to look at how to use completing the square to solve quadratics. And in part three, we're going to look at how to use completing the square to plot quadratics.